Are MTI's favorite sayings? One of them, he would tell us like, don't do anything reckless. So like, it would be the weekend, he'd be like, all right, I'm leaving, don't do anything reckless. Like, he would always say that. And then, just like, MTI's in general always say like, what the piss and stuff. Like, they love the word piss. Like, they're like, what the piss are you doing, trainee? And you're like, huh? Like, excuse me? So, <laughs> I don't know. Those were just kind of some of the funny sayings that they, they had. I got quite a few, I'll stick to like, two. One of them was like, hurry up, hurry up. I don't have time for this. My other favorite saying was, Ma'am Trainee, what? Because every time a trainee would forget Ma'am Morse or... So those were my two favorite sayings that I thought was pretty funny. A couple of my favorite, of course, was the ever popular, Sir Trainee, what? When you walk up to them without a reporting statement. They'd always grill you for it, but we'd always laugh in the background when somebody did it. Another good one was, happened all the time, absolutely not. Every day, everything. If you had a hint that something was going to be rejected by your MTI, that's the first thing that would come out of their mouth. Absolutely not. Every time. Another good one was, what the piss, trainee? That one was popular. You're pissing me off. It's a great one. You know, I got that one a lot myself. I would say those are my favorite. I feel like all of them are pretty much the same. Like literally, they'd always say, what the piss? Like, what the piss, trainee? Because they can't cuss. At least they're not supposed to cuss. They'd be like, what the piss trainee? Like, or they'd always say, stop being weird trainee. Or they don't know anyone's name, especially the ones who don't have name tapes. You're kind of safe. But they'd just be like, hey you, get over here. And then my MTIs, he'd always be like, what are we friends now? Cause when we'd like forget to say reporting statements, they'd be like, what are we friends now? Or like our flight, we'd like love asking them questions, like trying to get to know them and stuff. And they'd get like really annoyed with us asking questions. That's actually on our flight shirt. It says, what are we friends now? MTIs. First week, our guide on was still learning how to do everything, and uh, he's like 45 to the right, and he ended up going 90, and he stops the flight, just goes, he goes to guide on, and goes, I said 45, not 90. Do you not know geometry? I bet you failed geometry in high school. He just says, yes, sir. And because I don't know if he did it, it's just kind of funny. And so from that day on, he just, every time guide on messed up, he just yelled geometry. And like one day, he even like, in cadence, it was like geometry, 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 like getting progressively louder until he like actually fixed what was what was the issue. But from that day on, anytime he would say geometry, like we would start like trying not to laugh, but laughing is pretty funny. Okay, let me show you. This is my flight shirt, flight 293. You have the American flag right there. And before we would go out to eat every time would say Undugu Yangu, which is my brother, I think, in Swahili. We had this guy, his name was Trainee Ansango. He was like 40 years old, this guy from Africa, and he earned his citizenship by joining the Air Force, and he was like the most cheerful guy. Every time we would have a bad day, he would keep our spirits up. He was great. So here it is. Here's our, the back of our shirt. See that Commander's Excellence? Top male PT. Hmm. Here is Staff Sergeant Echeluse. So her saying was easy, right? So she would explain a drill movement and then she would do it and she would t tell us easy, right? And that's, that's what she did for everything. Staff Sergeant Walliver right here, his saying was imagine that. So every time we would mess up or we would do something, he would say, oh, flight 293 doesn't know how to do this. Imagine that. Or flight 293, eating white bread. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Actually, this has a lot of meaning behind it. So this would be Staff Sergeant Echeluse. So the female MTIs, their hat would have that curve on, on, on the side. That's how you know it's a male or female MTI. So the yellow bird is from the Jody. It's a yellow bird with a yellow bill landed on my windowsill. I'll let you figure out the rest. And then the white bread is from Staff Sergeant Walliver. So he was all about nutrition. So he would say, why are you eating white bread? No white bread, no white bread. <laughs> and it was like a joke and we made fun of him of, about it. And we ended up putting a piece of white bread right there. So there's a lot of meeting because white bread and with the Jody, uh, with the bird, I lured him in with a piece of bread. And then I smashed his freaking head. Hut, two, three. Okay. And this is our shirt with the wolf. I think it looks it looks badass, doesn't it? So that was my MTI sayings. One of my MTIs named Sergeant 
Coley, his favorite phrase was what the piss. And then Sergeant Lynch, she always said that's weird training if you say something weird. But they're both really great instructors and I don't regret having them at all. I can't remember any phrases that we came up. A lot of the stuff that they just said is don't F up. <laughs> just don't mess up and don't like make me look bad. Because like when they go off to, when you go off to Beast Week, it, you're not with your MTIs. So I guess they just hear back like who messed up later on. So they're like, hey, your trainee messed up on this. You're making my name come out here, but I'm not sure. Each one has their own saying. Ours weren't really that much. Another BMT flight was uh, too easy, too easy. So it was kind of like they were Marines shouting Ura. So like after they were done fixing stuff, their, their thing was like too easy. So like, oh, I just put this from here to here, too easy. Oh, we did our beds, too easy. And it just got really annoying. This personally, I don't know. 